A day of remembrance as three of the seven people whose lives were cut short in the Highland Park Parade shooting honored today at separate services. We'll have that story coming up in just a moment, but first a bill that would ban the sale and possession of assault style weapons in Illinois is now taking center stage. And some of the people who survived Monday's tragic shooting are the ones starting a petition to help get a special session underway. WGN's Brona Tumulty has the details right now. When you think of gunfire, you think of a couple of pops, but you don't think of this constant nonstop firing. And it's a moment you know, Hillary, Scott, and their two little kids will never forget. This is something that we will remember for the rest of our lives, and we are forever changed because of it. As bullets rained down from above, they each grabbed a child and ran for their lives. You just think it can't happen in my town. It, not here, uh, you know, we're, we should be safe here. Um, you should be but, safe everywhere. Yes. And they don't want any other Illinoisans to go through that. When I think back to the constant bang, 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 you, you, it's not legitimate for any person to own that kind of weapon in our neighborhoods. That's why Scott started a petition to help back House Bill 5522, which would ban the possession and sale of assault weapons statewide. It will be illegal to possess, to buy, to sell, to trade uh, an AR style weapon. Representative Maura Hirschauer introduced it back in January, but it stalled in the House. Now, after the shooting here, it's full steam ahead. Folks are speaking and we are taking action. A grandfather clause is included for those who already own these types of guns. You have a set amount of time to go to the Illinois State Police and register that weapon. They will check to make sure your FOID card is in order and you can carry on owning that weapon um, for as long as you would like. But if you think you could just buy them across the border and bring them here, think again. If you did that, you would be an illegal gun owner, even with a valid FOID card. The point here, Brona, is to, is to take baby steps. We need to take every win. We need to fight for every piece of gun safety legislation that we possibly can. We also chatted with Liz Manella, originally from Wilmette, now living in New Jersey. We want action. We don't want these weapons of war on our streets. Who, like Scott, is trying to get the word out about this bill and encouraging all to reach out to local and state reps to push it through. We can't wait for there to be another mass shooting in Illinois to say maybe we should have done something at the state level. Because for those who survived in Buffalo, in Uvalde, in Highland Park and everywhere else. I can't decide if I want to cry, if I'm angry, if I'm worried, if I feel guilty because we did make it out. Life will never be the same. A lot of times people talk about their, their freedom, but I think to myself, like, what freedom do I feel to take my kids to a parade? You have to worry about your kids going to school. That's, that's not freedom. Now, Scott's petition has already received more than 40,000 signatures. The link for that petition will be on our website under this story, along with various other fundraiser links and Liz's Instagram handle, which has a ton of information about how to contact your local and state representatives should you want to reach out to them to back this bill. We're live in Highland Park, Bruna Tumulty, WGN News.